Hello and welcome to yet another episode of Let's Plant Recap. This is the show where I look at your comments from the past week and react to them. If you've been watching the past recap videos, then you'll know that this is not just about reading the comments. It is a way for me to keep you up to date with other pieces of information, other news about the channel. It's another way for us to have a funny banter, although it's one-sided at the moment. It's also a way for you to spend the time with me, just hanging out in my garage, virtually, online, remotely. We don't have a choice now, do we? <laughs> I hope you forgive my funny voice right now. It's a bit nasally, my nose is stuffy, and I think I'm affected by hay fever because I woke up hard of breathing and yeah, my nose was just stuffy. But right before starting this recap, I already ran out to get some medicine, so it's all under control. It shouldn't be that all surprising because it's spring here, September, and we're close to the end of September. The winds are starting to pick up and we're having some rains and stuff. So yeah, the, the height of the pollen season is usually towards October, early, mid-October, I guess. This is quite, so this is going to be quite expected. And in fact, part of me is expecting my voice to be this nasally for the next few weeks or so, I guess. So if you are watching the future episodes and you're wondering why Chuck sounds like that, it's the pollen. They're fertilizing me. <laughs> now, before I start reading comments, let me just say that today is the 23rd of September, and last year, on the 21st of September last year, that's when I first released episode one of Let's Plant. So that means we have now reached the first anniversary of Let's Plant. Although, if you want to be really technical about it, I released episode zero, which is the trailer for Let's Plant on the 20th of September, just a day before the first episode. Either way, if you're counting the 20th or the 21st of September 2017, then we are one year since then. This means that the next episode, which is episode 87, would be the first episode of season 2 of Let's Plant. This is exciting. So the first video that we're going to look at is episode 86, and this is the alternative succulent propagation method, plant swaps. Now, Half or pretty much majority of the comments here are your well wishes for my birthday and I thank you so much. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me in that episode. You may not have been physically present here with me to celebrate but you just watching my videos, just hanging out in the comments, that's enough celebration for me. So for everyone who wrote happy birthday here, I thank you so much. And let's go read the comments which are not just a happy birthday greeting. So the first one would be from Lindsay Bringans. Hi Chuck and Zach from Rotorua. Rotorua. Okay, I got it. Rotor Rotorua. 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 Yes. Hi Chuck and Zach from Rotorua, New Zealand. Swapping plants is a great idea and I need to start something here. Your selection of plants is mind blowing. Head to smile regarding the weather. Four seasons in one day. <laughs> Thanks for the videos, Lindsay. Yeah, if you ask any Melbourneian, I think that's one of the ways we would call Melbourne. We get four seasons in a single day, especially during the transitional seasons like spring and autumn. Although sometimes you get hail or uh, a random cold front with cold days during summer, that's Melbourne weather for you. Next is from Rudy Succulent Obsession. Happy birthday. This is a great idea and I would love to do a succulent swap. There are several plants that I cannot find in my area like Imbricatas and Aeoniums which are easily found in other areas. Thanks for the great tips. I hope you have a great birthday. Yes, it is exactly for that reason why you should do swaps. Like I mentioned in that video, doing swaps allow you to fill a gap in your collections. Someone else might have a certain plant that you're after that you do not typically see in your area. So by doing the swaps, you do not have to expend a lot more effort or time or money just to grab those plants. All you have to do is to find someone who has it and see if they can ship it over, then yep. Next comment is from in him septa 7 I have Mexican snowball echeverias that might be the only echeveria that I have that you don't or didn't. Not very flashy but keeps its shape well and an easy one. I wonder if it flowers. Mine haven't. And are there any echeverias that don't? So, will you be starting seeds? I promise I won't nag you anymore on that. Until next year, Jeff. 
I finally know your name, Jeff. <laughs> so Jeff here had lots of points in his comment. The first one would be uh, the elegance. It's not that I don't have an elegance, it's more of that I cannot have enough of them, you know? I, I like using them as fillers in, in the gaps or wherever in my design because I like how they form clumps and they are low, really low. And apart from that, they grow quite fast. So I really like how they spread and they form a, this little soft, tender carpet. Of course, I won't be stepping on them, but, but yeah. I like the texture that they provide to the design. So I am always on the lookout for the elegance. As for flowers, yes, mine are flowering right now and here's a peek. And about your question on the flowers, yes, all Echeveras flower. The only thing you have to take note is they, they need a little dormancy season or a little bit of dormancy. They have to sleep before they are able to push out flowers. So um, in my case, in my climate where we have the four seasons, they would flower at least twice a year because of course they have the dormancy during winter. So after winter, towards the end of winter or start of spring, they would all start flowering. And the other time that they might flower would be after summer because during the heat of summer, especially when you reach really high temperatures, like in my case, uh, at least 35 degrees Celsius and higher, then they would go into this uh, bit of dormancy phase, uh, pseudo dormancy. And you would know that they are dormant when they start closing up their rosettes. And once that happens after that, uh, sometime during autumn when it gets starts getting cooler again you would see them pushing out lots of flower stalks so in your case I'm not I can't remember what climate you have but if you don't have winters where you're from then your best bet would be to wait until after summer from Esther Higuera I hope I'm saying your name right Happy birthday! I really enjoy watching your videos and I wish I lived near so we could swap plants and stories like you said. Happy birthday! Enjoy your day! Yeah, that would have been nice. From Monolop. Happy belated birthday! Well, I can't swap because I don't have friends that have an interest on succulents. So, haha, <laughs> good luck to me to find other people who have interest in succulents. I think you'll find lots of people online and I guess you just need to announce to that group I guess announce your general area maybe your city or your region I guess just give a uh, just send feelers or just let people know uh, your general area maybe there might be other people there maybe you won't find people within your general vicinity but maybe I don't know a few an hour or a few hours ride or drive you might find someone bonus points if you have your own vehicle so you could transport yourself as far as my swaps go I've had people drive over for an hour yeah for almost an hour or an, a bit over an hour just to do a swap I've also driven about an hour just to do swaps so yeah it might be the same case for you from retro race succulents Beautiful stuff, Chuck. I like giving my plants away as well. Yeah, that's the best way to celebrate this obsession. Giving plants away and getting more in return. Okay, this is a long one. From Royal Icing. I've been binge watching your channel and I feel so much more informed now. Thank you so much. I live in Minnesota, but I have the exact opposite season cycle than you. But I just mirror what and when you do things there in Australia and, that is, and it has worked out perfectly. I started collecting and propagating succulents about 9 months ago, so I'm quite new at it. However, because of your videos, I've become quite good at it. Wow. I love it immensely. It brings me so much joy. My children are 16 years old and up, so my days aren't as filled as they used to be. Mm, lucky. This has filled that void. <laughs> also, I'm so happy that my husband is thrilled with my new hobby and takes much pride in how healthy and beautiful my plants are. I tell him that I have another man in my life that helps me. We both laugh. One more thing, I just want to comment on what a wonderful dad you are. Your son is so happy and curious, just as a healthy, grounded, and joyful young boy should be. Although sadly, it's not all that common these days with all of the undue stress put on our little ones. So awesome job there, daddy. Mm. 
Thank you so much for your comment. I'm so flattered to be part of your life. <laughs> I'm glad you found this hobby because for me, because I think I feel the same even though I still have my kids. But it fills this little void in me, you know. Uh, my It's a creative release. I have an office job as a developer, programmer, and I sit in front of computers the whole day. It can get quite um, structured and you just want a release. So gardening is mine. From Emerald Star, wishing you a belated happy birthday. Please try to take some pics or a short video of the swap meet. Love to see what everyone brings. My new home, moving first of the year as a succulent plant chapter, so looking forward to move. You're in luck. The next episode is about the swap meet. <laughs> and I would be putting a bit of teaser towards the end of this video, so watch out for it. From Karen Lottering, I did something like that Saturday. A lady came with a lot of plants and I arranged with a few people here. And we all bought a lot of plants from the ladies. Lesson learned, check any new plants for mealybugs. My black prince paid a heavy price, but on the good side, I got two new echeverias. Yeah, this is very sound advice and everyone should do this before you purchase, preferably. From just another fangirl, my favorite video ever. You're the best, Chuck. <laughs> Username checks out. <laughs> From Crafty Fox. Happy birthday, Chuck. And holy moly, I need to get in on this Melbourne plant swap action. I have a heap of PVN and Subsisil swaps that need new homes. Uh, you're in the southwest, right? I think they were planning to uh, they were planning to organize a swap somewhere in the southwest, maybe around Werribee, the Werribee area. So it might be a way, it might be the chance for you to get in on the swap meets. I'll be sharing details of the, the swap group in the next video because the next video would be about the swap meets. So maybe you could uh, maybe you could join in there. From Iza Zidlowska, Hi Chuck, happy belated birthday. I've been away on vacation for two weeks and not watching YouTube. <laughs> so I have a ton of catching up to do. Wow, two weeks! I wish I had a vacation right now. <laughs> but then again, what would happen to the plants? And this time, we'll have a look at the Facebook comments. And compared to the last episode, I have better luck with this episode this time. There's a lot of comments here and let's go through them. And the first one is from Tam. Happy belated birthday, Chuck. Make sure to give Succulent Swap Melbourne a plug on your videos. Don't worry, it's getting more than just a plug to be an entire episode. And yeah, you were there, so you know this already. <laughs> from And the next is from Jules. Great video, Chuck, as always. And thanks for showcasing the swap meets and the essence of the swap group. Yeah, I know I haven't been doing swaps as much as I used to do last year, but Hey, I'm going to blame my children for this. <laughs> it's just the schedules, you know. From Gary and Rose. Great episode. I think I may be watching your videos too much. Today, my three-year-old was walking around the garden while I repotted a few pups singing your theme tune. <laughs> I wish I had a video of that. That would be really awesome. In fact, hey, if you could do that on video, I might even include it in the opening scenes. From Annette Anido. Watching on the huge TV we have in my classroom, just a way to fill a quick break. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so we are nearing the end of September. We're about to enter October. And since I do a weekly vlog, I think I might have to do a bit of alternating between my propagation content and my regular build content. Unless I can somehow find a way to do both at the same time. And the reason why I bring that up is it it's starting to get warmer now, although we still have cold days like today, which is why I'm wearing my jacket. But I think I should be working on repotting or replanting or doing offsets, harvesting offsets, harvesting pups, and trying to get them to root. And I have to do all of that before summer arrives, before summer hits us hard. Because <laughs> it will hit hard. I've got a few uh, video ideas, episode ideas in the pipeline. First one would be the swap meet, which I already did. We filmed yesterday. I'm thinking of doing a series on pollination and seed propagation. So I have to get it out of the way before summer, because by summer, uh, the flowers would be mealy bug magnets. As soon as I get the pollination and the viable seeds, then I would be chopping off all of the flowers. Apart from that, that might be another chance for me to do another video on leaf propagation. 
I know I have a leaf a dedicated leaf propagation video somewhere if you look in my playlist and actually it's one of the first few videos I ever made although part of me thinks that it is due an update an upgrade from memory I've been quite comprehensive in it but there's a few information that I could add in there stuff that I learned through the years so yeah it might be a good idea here's a sneak peek of the next episode And that's it for the recap. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. If you're watching on Facebook, make sure to like, follow this page, and share this video around so more people would know about this. I made a mistake in not uploading the recap natively on Facebook last week. So I'm going to fix that. And from this week moving forward, the recap is going to be online on both YouTube and Facebook at the same time for the benefit of everyone on both platforms. Stay tuned for the next episode next Tuesday on YouTube and Thursday on Facebook. And as always, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!